Damn. Hello and good evening, YouTube. Welcome back once again to NASCAR Thunder 2004, a.k.a. my own personal hell. Last time we went to Indianapolis and we made it a whole two laps before dying. And even though we died, we still got a boring fucking winner. So, so much for the championship battle between everyone, basically, at this point. We're down to 15th in the points once again. That's the line and all that good shit, so let's go to the next race. So, we get to drive destroyed shit for this race, so the car's gonna be atrocious. But we are at Watkins Glen, which is generally an easy track if you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're probably gonna die in this race as well. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, fuck this game. That's kind of the, uh, the moral at this point. Yep, I think it is. Gordon on the pole, because why should anything be good in this world? Well, let's see how badly I can fuck up qualifying here. Actually, braked early for once. I never break early. I always break too late and go off track or get back into the gas too early and go off track like I did just then. Car's driving good. I think I'm under driving it right now, actually. Am I still in season one mentality for this race? I might be, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not the worst trip through the bus stop I've ever seen. Yeah, by the way, the bus stop's where we die. Because I think we can maybe have a good race as long as I survive the bus stop on the first lap. Because once the field gets spread out enough, we can generally outbreak people and be fine. But that's a big if. That's a big, big, big if. I must say. Like, that's that if is the size of Kim Kardashian's ass. That's how big of an if this is. How'd we do? Fifth. Alright. Maybe I can get a better lap this time. Or maybe I'll fly off into... Uh, the runoff. I almost did. Fifth is a good spot to start. We started, I think, seventh last time we were here. And that led to a uh, sixth place finish, so... But I could have won that race if I hadn't driven off the fucking first corner in the lap. Because it was a one-lap shootout. I lost seven spots on that restart and got a bunch of them back somehow. God damn, this bus stop is a thing of horror. It is a goddamn nightmare. Like, you can talk all you want about, like, Halloween and, like, Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. No. The worst fucking horror movie that gives you nightmares is the bus stop in NASCAR Thunder 2004. Alright? Watch Mojo get the fuck out of here with your fucking top ten list. I got your, I got your number one. I got your number fucking one. And it's right fucking in front of you. So I think I did better this lap. Maybe. Well, that's a poll? Yeah, okay, cool. Just survive turn one and everything will be fine, right? Yeah, I doubt it. And by the way, if I hit anything, the car is already really damaged, so the durability is really low. So basically, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to die in this race. Um, yeah. So that's fun. Hi, Dale Jarrett. Alright. Oh, yep, we're faster than them in the SS. That's a uh, sign of death right there. That's another 30. Cool. Thank you. I really need all these rivals before we get to the hard part of the track. Dale Jarrett, please have mercy on my butt. Oh... Hey! Well, we survived, kind of! We kind of survived the bus stop there. We only lost, what, five spots? That's a 60. Fuck this game. I didn't do anything! Go away! I didn't do anything! You fucking ran into me! Christ. That's a 60 for me as well. Fuck this game. See, I told you, you either... Win this race, or you die trying. This track's so bad. This track is 
terribly programmed. And Bobby Labonte is going to wreck my asshole wide open in this fucking corner. Yep, told you. Yep, I'm sure I'm going to be blamed for that as well. Yep, another rival. That's three already. Cool. That's three rivals on the first lap. And there goes any speed that I might have had coming to the bus stop, so I'm going to get fucking... I'm going to get my ass blasted yet again. Fun times. I hate this track. I really do. It's so ass. It's so poorly programmed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's suddenly 70. I literally did nothing, and it's up to 70. That's incredible. You know what? You know what, assholes? Okay, that's a 100 rival. We've gone two laps and made three rivals, one of them a 100. I hate this fucking track. Pit now, take lefts, I don't give a shit. Take out a half round two, fuck it, I don't care. You think I care at this point? You think I care about anything now that I have a 100 fucking rival out of this race? That's gonna be fun, because Labonte's fast every week, and we've been fast every week. We're gonna have fresh shit next week, so we should be competitive again, unless we go to Michigan. I think we're going to Michigan next, so... Never mind, we won't be competitive, but that will be the one race of the year that Bobby Labonte has terrible time, you know. Wow! An actually good pit stop. Holy shit! That is the last thing that I expected out of this pit crew. Well, now that I'm not gonna get my ass blasted for the remainder of this race, maybe I can take the corners the way I want to. And yeah, we'll have some good runs. Immediately as I say that, we take the first S as Y. And finally, someone else has decided to pit. And I'm going to wreck myself, so making everything that I've done to this point moot. So that's nice. That's really a, that's really a helpful thing there. Casey's down pit road, so that sucks. He should be winning this shit. You know, bare fucking minimum, they could have made him good at road courses like Steve Park and Christian Fittipaldi. But no, they made him shit everywhere. Looks like there's some guys that are going to come down on the white fucking flag. That's going to be incredible. There's a guy behind me that's closing the fuck in. He is definitely going to get around me before this race is over. Because he's just flying. I don't know who it is. We're not going to find out because of this pit cycle too, so that sucks. Goddamn, who is this mysterious man behind me? It's Ricky Rudd, goddamn. Ricky Rudd trying to trying to go back to back at Watkins Glen, dude, and I think he's gonna do it because I just don't have the pace to keep up here. I have a competent amount of speed coming through here, but I just give it all up everywhere else. Like here, for example. Here's a good place, an example of me giving up a lot of time. I gotta go to the outside of Ken Schrader. That's pretty elite skills, not gonna lie. Maybe he'll hold up Ricky Rudd. Or maybe, yeah, that'd be, that'd actually be cool. So they're pitting on the white flag, so that's nifty thrifty right there. Oh, shit! 
Army Sadler getting in the way, man. Hold up, Rod, man. Please. We got one lap to glory. Can I keep Ricky Rudd at bay? I highly fucking doubt it. Gonna be honest. I think I overdrove this corner like I always fucking do. Actually, I got through it pretty well. It doesn't matter, we're gonna die in the bus stop anyway. Yeah, blow that corner, so I'm really gonna have to slow down coming through here. Yep, we're fucked. Completely fucked, yep. Good race, Ricky. You won a good one, man. Yeah, he's gonna dump my shit if he has anything to say about it. Come on, Ricky. Have some consideration for your fellow man. Oh my god, I've blown this corner every single time, but I really can't do anything about it. Ricky! Ricky! There were a lot of Rickies in NASCAR, actually. I thought Stenhouse was... <gasps> you dick, Ricky Rudd! You dick! Fuck! Ricky Rudd can suck my asshole. Fucking God, what a douchebag. I'm, s I'm just absolutely sitting here in shock that I didn't wreck the car from that. Fuck you, Gordon. No, everything's not okay. I just body slammed the fucking wall. What a bitch. Ricky Rudd can suck my ass. Fucking dick. Changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, they were. An 80, a 28. Actually, I only have one rival coming out of this, but thankfully it's a fucking 80. And we're and it's a fast car that we're gonna be around the entire rest of the season, so yay! Yay! Apparently unlock Spider-Man's car. That's what level 6 EA gamer gets you these days, I suppose. 3.1 million dollars. We're going to my worst track. No. I think we can definitively say that Indianapolis is my worst track. But I'm not exactly the fucking best here either, so... Don't worry, don't worry, the shit show hasn't finished yet. It's still the midsummer shit show. Just like in the Jeff Green season, just like last year, so cunt bitch won that race. And shocking, Gordon extended his points lead. Breaking news, Gordon extends points lead. I have four poles already. Wow. What a bitch. Anyway, time to repair shit, I guess. Finally, after all these years. Okay, well, this is gonna be absolutely no value. $84,000, hot damn. What a fucking deal. And we have a new... S ah, yes, it's time for a new shop edition. I was going to do some new stuff for the uh, bodies, because we're really falling behind with the bodies. Because this one's a 6871, so let's do the uh, downforce next. That's going to be expensive, but we have the money. It's not going to be expensive. Hang on. Well, I'm not complaining. 900k for that. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. New shop edition coming through, and you know what that means. A chassis one finish, which means we're building a new chassis. A 68.75. Hell yeah. Oh, we got some good chassis sitting there. Uh, this is the best engine that we have. We can't overhaul it, so just repair it. A 68.65 is really paling in comparison, and there's still seven fucking races to that shit. God damn it. Can't even overhaul this. Wow. What a sh what a sh what a shit show. Well, we still got 1.8 mil. 1.7 mil, actually. Ah, uh, the sponsorship situation. 14 races left with these guys. I should check out Napa. Every race. Every race. I should check out the Napa situation because who knows if they're going to drop me. Because if they move to, like, associate, then we'll keep them forever. So, it'll be fine. Is that just eBay? It took that long for you to figure out that I confirmed my order, you piece of shit. Yeah, remember from last time when I made the payment on eBay? It was three forty-five, three dollars, three fifty, bitch, three fifty for that shit. All right, we already looked at that. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Come Cause Games playing some more shit show Central NASCAR Thunder two thousand four, and we'll see you next time. Bye.
Top 10 things that are effective. Number 10, squares. Number to nine, two squares. Now where are we? All right, I guess we'll never find out. There's one of these in every game, isn't there? Oh, oh. Game. When you're the one that needs to take control and make sure that something works. You know, this game is trying to, trying to tell me something, and that is that it doesn't want to be played. I think the game is sick of being played, and it just wants to not be played. 